Uh, happy Sunday here. Uh, Patrick from Half Cheetah Will View. Uh, taking a break uh, between doing some cleaning and uh, we watched, uh, me and the Cheetah watched the movie uh, between our breaks and uh, we liked it so much that we thought we would we come up here and talk about it. Well, I would anyway, but um, the Cheetah, he, he decided to go catch the sunbeams. Uh, so the movie that we watched today was a documentary. Um, a few a few months ago, I was contacted by a, an independent Christian film company who I've done reviews for uh, Kelly's Film Works, and I have done um, I had done several reviews on their on their movies, and um, they reached out and they um, said thank you, and um, and they had caught some of the my reviews. And they actually sent me um, some other movies they have done, but I had not really, I hadn't really reviewed them. But they're in my watch list right up here on the second corner, right there is my watch list. And I just have to be in a mood for what certain movies, I guess. Um, but I was in the mood to watch this. I was in the mood to watch this movie. Uh, it'd be Memorial Day, and uh, and the story really intrigued me, so I decided to watch it. And the movie that we watched today is a documentary called National Anthem Girl. Um, this is the story of a young lady named Janine Stang, who, starting in 2012... And through 2014, went on a national uh, tour, basically, singing the Star Spangled Spannard in every single state. Um, it started out as sort of like a, um, as a goal for, for uh, Janine. But then when she found out that the 200th anniversary of the Star Spangled Spannard was in September 2014 decided that what she was going to do was she was going to sing the, the anthem in every state before September 14th. So uh, it became more of, a, of just a, of, a, of a goal, but it became a mission. Uh, she, she uh, As she went across the country singing in different states, uh, there, a little bit more was added to it. Um, she set up a table. Uh, working with another organization where she set up a table wh wherever she was performing at and she would have people sign cards to active duty military people and, and veterans. So she would get in there, she was seeing the Star Spangled Spanner, the, you know, and then she would go and set up a table and collect cards for uh, folks and uh, for soldiers who would, who would, you know, care packages were sent to them. And so the the story basically is in own words uh, of the order of the state she appeared in and where she sang at. Now you would think that uh, this would be like she was singing in, in in all these big places, um, you know, you know, huge stadiums full of people and whatnot. But she sang to whoever who would have her, and she sang at rodeos. Um, high schools, chambers of commerce, uh, minor league baseball games, look, women's lacrosse. Uh, she did sing at a couple of stadiums. Uh, she sang at a, uh, she did sing at a, at a football game, uh, an NFL game. She sang the national, the Star Spangled Spanner at a, a, a NASCAR event, and at two baseball games, um, um, major league baseball games. Um, among among all the places, but she sang at rodeos, like I said, rodeos and and you know street uh, uh, town events. Um, she sang on a radio, um, and it was really hard because she pretty much funded this trip all by herself, and it was hard. You know, she had to really work hard on finding the venues to sing at. Uh, well, she appeared on a national on a national program that gave her the boost that she needed. And uh, pretty soon, uh, organizations were reaching out and inviting her to come sing at their event in the states that she needed to, to, to you know, to cover. 
Of course, the two states being the roughest were Alaska and, and Hawaii because they're so far out there. But she managed to get them. In fact, Hawaii was actually state number 49. Um, I actually had that being the state. I thought that would be the 50th state, but it was actually 49. Um, the last state she sang in was Tennessee. Uh, the first state she sang in was New York. Um, so the movie was... was uh, is is she narrates her own story um it's and she shows pictures and videos of all the places she went to and she tells you why she did it she did it for the soldiers she did it for you know she you know a way to unite the nation um i think it's very heartfelt um it's very earnest uh very heartwarming and there's a cynical side of me that says it's very uh you know, it's very well meant, it's well meaning, but, you know, as soon as the last note flies into the air, you know, we forget what we're, you know, supposed to be united about. Uh, she mentions that, the, you know, one country under God. Well, we already know that's, that's hopeful, that's this hopeful naive, naive, uh, naivety now. I don't know, like I said, maybe I'm cynical. Um... But when I watched her sing the, her, the Star Spangled Banner, I actually believed it. I believed it was possible. I believe it is possible, you know, to, to be a, a one country again and united. Um, it's a very good movie. Uh, Jefferson Moore uh, directed it. Um, and the, the smartest thing he did, honestly, he just put, he put the camera down. He aimed it toward Janine and he just turned on the camera. And let her go. Uh, this uh, is not overproduced. It's not slick. It's not uh, hyped. It's just Janine telling her story in her own words. And showing the various places that she went to. Um, the music for the movie. Uh, for the movie itself. Was provided by his longtime collaborator. Uh, B.J. Davis. And it's a very rest restrained. And very effective score. I really liked it. Uh, the movie is produced by Jefferson's wife, Kelly Worthington. Uh, like I said, this is the this is their, their very first documentary they've done, and um, it was really well done. I would highly recommend this. Uh, I highly recommend this. I will be leaving the link to Kelly's film works and all of Janine's information. On the, in the description box, and I will also be filling out a little bit more about uh, some of the films I uh, I reviewed for them uh, from their company, and um, highly recommend them as well. Um, so on this today, this Memorial Day, um, I'm not you know this came out and this was done in 2014, but. I like to think that somewhere down the line today, somewhere, Janine, uh, Janine Stang is out there singing the national anthem. Um, well, thank you for watching this review. And um, if you liked what you heard, please hit the uh, uh, notification button or hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. It'll notify whenever I do a new review. And hit the like button and then leave a comment below. Uh, maybe you can tell me what does this Memorial Day mean to you? Uh, what does the, the Star Spangled Spanner, uh, Banner mean to you um, as an American? All right, well, that's it for now. On the behalf of me and the Cheetah, we will talk at you soon. And until next time, peace.